Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. But I must tell you this session was full of nonsense. In my infinite wisdom, not in my infinite stupidity, I had a very good back, out, back, back squat session. I'm just playing this video of uh, the back out workout that I had. 150 kg for a set of 5, 160 kg for a set of 5. Then I did 170 kg set of two. That was my top weight. I should not have done that because that is heavy. That's not medium for me. As you know, I'm going through my medium and heavy phase. Then I backed off to 130 kg set of six, 110 kg set of seven. And, oh, sorry. Before that, the first set was 130 kg set of five, 140 kg. Anyway, I did a fair bit of the volume. And I don't know what possessed me. I am a coach and I should know that Romanian deadlift really taxes your posterior chain. And what also taxes your posterior chain? What also taxes everything? Back squats. And I have mostly been careful throughout my uh, practice of lifting where I don't do back squats and deadlift in one session. They are not a big no-no, they aren't. You just have to do enough light and in certain combination. And today, the combination was bad. I was smashed. I had probably not experienced this fatigue in a long time. I do think that once you do a squat movement, a nice little session, it's time to go to upper body type movement. Not burn your posterior chain all over again. But I'm glad my mind wasn't working. Look at me, I'm so tired. But my body was working and telling me. I have said this in a video somewhere that body never lies. It tells you the truth. So this is, and I think it's not even 110 kg on the Romanian deadlift. Maybe I did one set and I realized, uh-oh, I made a big mistakes. So it's a rather small truncated workout. But the learning, the lesson is very valuable. Did I not know these things? I know these things very well as a coach. But sometimes the demon of stupidity takes over. And oh my God, I was tired. I mean, I cannot. I cannot. I think there is an expression which is mostly from running and marathon called hitting the wall. I am sure I hit the wall. Or maybe the wall hit me. In any case, I really urge you guys to don't do such a big mistakes ever. I do think Romanian deadlift is something that in the future I will always do it first. And I am learning about a lot about Romanian deadlifts, I must say, because I'm new to it. And by learning, I'm saying I'm learning different combination and permutations of programming. I now know perhaps pretty well how to do them, but not how to apply them and mix them with other things. They don't really mix with squats, that's for sure. So uh, this is what the lesson has been uh, in today's video. Um, not much else really. <laughs> uh, don't do this at home, guys. I think this after this set, I just realized, yes, that this was a big mistake. So I have enjoyed doing compound lifting and uh, three lifts in a session in one workout for a long time and uh, this perhaps was the first time that i was doing two barbell lifts two barbell compound lifts both you know uh, taxing in nature but i must say that it is good to make mistakes and sit and ponder the way i am sitting right now in the video and really tell yourself what a goose how silly of me how stupid I am still to make such mistakes. It, uh, thri it, it sort of ignites a mechanism in you to humble yourself often. I think we, we will not take it positively when others are telling us, but when your body tells you, you know very well that you stuffed up. Anyway, so I just got up and packed up. That was it. Done. Guys, I will see you in next one.